I'm right now about 20 minutes from city center. This is like Midtown. Actually, it's so nice up ahead. I thought it was like an art show, but it's really just the neighborhood. Let's get over here. Hang on. Ah, yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, this is just on the way, right? But uh, I'm gonna take a quick walk and see if there's maybe something I've never seen before. Let's go outside. So, like, if you see the pricing over here, more like you get something like for every US dollar, 800. Okay? So, it's a bit hard on the map, okay? Like, that's a dollar. <laughs> More or less. Mm, this is what I like here. Yeah. <laughs> Um, yeah, you can see I've been already to like four or five blocks of this. They got everything, they even have clothing and stuff, you know? <laughs> Household stuff. I mean, I guess if you're a vendor, you can sell whatever you want, right? It's your space. I hear a party up ahead. Um, that's crazy, that guy's selling milk and uh, yogurt. It's like 80 degrees outside, it's hot. Nice stuff. Oh, ah, wait, I need a charger. So we're getting downtown. The buildings are getting much bigger. Okay. The next street up should be San Francisco Street. We're gonna make a right. We got about like 10, 15 blocks to walk, but then we'll get to a really cool center of town, the historic district. Um, Plaza de Arms is where the Spanish would keep their weaponry and they would pick the best part of town. Center Square, often the one with the really big cathedral, they take it for their own. So this is now probably the most touristy part of town, generally speaking. Generally speaking, it's gonna be the most dangerous place to have your camera out because that's where they're gonna take it, okay? So. Yo. You can see we're kind of getting into the thick of it now, so it should be fun. And there's like 10 blocks of this before I get to where I want, so. Let's see if we can find something interesting, huh? guys good so this actually yeah this is the Plaza de Arms I thought I was uh, I thought I had more to go actually but I'm pretty sure this is it yeah. 
You know what? Let's go inside and see some of the artwork. It's bigger than you think, actually. The whole area, all the way around, surrounding. I mean, it's a big park, you know, but it's not huge. A lot of the Plaza de Arms I've been in are quite massive, honestly. For such a big city, I'm a bit surprised. And like, directly across the street, they have a brand new building. So, uh, I'm gonna, why don't I walk downtown? Let's see how some of the new parts of uh, Santiago look. Anyway. That was Plaza de Arms. There wasn't a whole lot of artwork to be seen that like I was into. So I kept going. <laughs> Here's another two miles of marketplace. <sighs> I need to find something cold to drink. I had to go. They got everything in the world that you could ever need except for a phone charger. Go figure, of all the things I was just looking for. I asked, Okay. I don't know. Cool. Oh, chargers. Maybe. This is kind of crazy over here. Let's go inside. Oh, yeah. We go. They go, we go. It smells like bad fried chicken here like it smells like old grease oh, yeah, yeah. I saw that what it says. I'm thinking I can go inside. Hang on. Yeah. Yeah, we can. Wow. Yo, it's like... In here. It's a great spot, my friend. Show him. Wow, okay, that's funny. I wasn't expecting it all. This place is really big. Really, really big, actually. All right, let's get up these stairs. We get a big uh, surprise waiting for us up there, so. I don't know, hi. Right. How are you? <laughs> Okay, so they put the restaurants upstairs, for sure. I've seen it before in other countries. 
This is like really nice and organized. It's real cool. Go bien, I think. Yeah. Hola, gracias. Hello. Hello, America. Huh? Hey. Okay. La chica picarona. Ah, hey, yeah. Claro. Wow, pues. Hmm. All right. Let's go downstairs, take a look at some of the shops. We might find something we never saw before. You never know, right? It's just huge. Like it goes left and right at least like at least an acre and a half, right? Maybe like six dunam for my European friend. She really just wanted to warn me about my camera being out. She's like, people take. And I'm like, yeah, well, I know. Well, I'm getting pretty far from my spot now. And I think I might sit down, take a little break, kind of figure out where the heck I am. We can check the bus system because it's pretty hot. I'm kind of walking for a little bit. There's a bunch of birds here. And somebody gave him a box of Chinese food. Oh, they got a bunch of two boxes. Yeah. Man. What's up, guys? Unfortunately, they don't put a price on anything. They'd be happy to sell it. I don't really speak their language, which makes it painful. I don't want really to insult anybody and offer a dollar just to see what they want. That's probably the only way I can buy stuff here. That's not really my fault. <laughs> because they don't have any prices. I'd like to go a couple more blocks up ahead. Let's go back through the market on the way. Well, if we could find a charger now, that'd be great. I got a little change, so. Before I had was $20,000 bills on me, which they're worth about, I don't know, 25 US dollars, but nobody here can break it. You could give somebody a $20 bill and they look at you like you're nuts. So, but unfortunately, that's what the ATM gives. Uh, they play that game a lot of places, but actually here they really don't have the change. 
Every single person I've done that to has had to get into their personal wallet. It may change. Yeah, I mean, go no problem. Hang on. Sure. Okay. Yeah. It's not even the police, so I don't know. I've only seen like two or three the entire time I've been in the country. You know, I don't know. That could be police and cleaning. Maybe it's a combination. <laughs> like, since you're just standing around watching, maybe you could also clean, you know? Oh man, that's something else. Crazy. Huh, he's mad. We're not gonna give him attention though. I think what that guy is doing is cool. Oh, he's gonna yell at him. Oh, also you're gonna notice you didn't see hardly any masks at all. Just saw a, guy, a couple guys walking by with some, but compared to Peru, where every buddy three months ago was wearing a mask even outside um it's way more relaxed here they're not too worried about it okay. flower of jamaica but it's purple like i'm pretty sure the flower of jamaica is the color green i was just there it seemed like that was the case flower of jamaica they can do legal uh, street gambling here too. Everything here is so random. <laughs> I'm like, there you go, there's a buyer for the dinosaur. Awesome. <laughs> Wish they put prices on stuff, I do need a charger. <laughs> Busy, busy place. We're not gonna make the light, no way. Even if I run. Maybe if I run? Okay, let's run. <laughs> that now so totally didn't make it. Not even close. I think I'm gonna call this video, it's hot in Chile. It's hot really nice and hot and I'm about I don't know two weeks from my birthday which is always the worst coldest day of the year I'm not running ahead of these folks uh -huh, uh -huh. <laughs> so to be in summer right now it's great I think I'm gonna skip winter entirely this year forget it who needs it <laughs> In fact, I think I'm going to spend my birthday at the ocean. That would be a huge treat for me. I've never done that for myself. I'm at the right age, right? That'd be nice. I can do what I want. So I'm going to go to the ocean because that's what I want to do. Bless you. I was hoping that when I got here, the backpackers would have ideas and they'd be like, go oh, here, do that, do this. But everybody that I'm with right now is kind of new in the country. They haven't, uh, we don't have any people that are finishing their trip. So I'll keep you guys posted in the next day or two. 
see what kind of activities we can come up with and we'll tell you pricing and how to get there transportation all the things that you need to know when you come here for yourself it's a pretty cool street art here so i thought i'd just let it roll while i walk by across the street also Actually, truth is, everybody in this country is so nice. Like, I was buying water a minute ago, I got a couple of them. This is pretty interesting. So, if you look at like a lot of the produce, they put greens on the moon. It's like some kind of a flower. I think it's keeping it fresh. Like a lot of the vendors are using it here. Can I join me? Cool. Four for a dollar cilantro, y'all. Appreciate you. Cheers.